So it was just right across the street here, where all you guys lived, right? We lived, yeah, we lived right, I mean, literally lived, I just got the chills when you said that. Yeah, I was really <laughs> blessed, man. You know, Terry Brands and I became friends immediately. When I was staying in the summer, I was living in a hotel, and uh, when I transferred from Syracuse, and Terry and I befriended each other, and that was probably maybe the single greatest friendship. Uh, when you look at timing of it, because I needed a strong, you know, I needed someone that really deeply loved it and to live with him. For th I mean, I'm the only one who made it three years with him. Uh, all three years, I kept coming back because he had the mentality that I, that I wanted to be around. He was a difference maker for me. So yeah, we lived right here in one of the years. Who else? It was pretty much everybody on the, that team, wasn't it? I mean, it's a lot of great guys. The Steiner brothers were tremendous examples. Zappo loved the sport. I mean, guys just loved the sport. Uh, I mean, Lincoln came in not too long after. Joe Williams was coming in. At the time, Olympic training centers were, were were allowed, right? Then they then they went away for quite a while. But there was, you know, just so many guys here training. Randy Lewis was here. What a training partner he was. You know, he'd put his hands behind his back and say, "Start my leg," and then we'll go live from there. I mean, he 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 made me a better wrestler. If you could finish on Randy, I mean, what are you afraid of in a competition in NCAA wrestling? You know, so just so many people that that were life changing here. You know, Jimmy Zaleski, every morning he would meet me and work with me and teach me and. Obviously, Gable's leadership. So, I mean, again, this is a place that, that, you know, I mean, I get the chills when I talk about it. I love the place because it changed, again, my life and, and the lives of a lot of people. What, what do you remember about that first day when you drove out here and, well, you were sitting in the room and Gable comes well, up? Well, it was and over the summer, and I knew the place because I came to camp here every summer. You know, deep in my heart, I, I always wanted to be a Hawkeye. You know, at the time, it was a dark secret, right? There was no internet. Nobody knew what was going on out here. Nobody knew what the training was like and what was happening. You just at the Nationals every year, you just saw them winning lots of weight classes. So it was a dark secret, it's no longer a dark secret. The internet has revealed a lot of training practices and, and, and there's, there's, there's been some catch up uh, that's occurred. Um, but for me, I wanted to understand, you know, I felt the only way you could, you, could, you could do it was to insert yourself into it. And uh, it was over the summer and the first workout, it was three o'clock, I just showed up at the wrestling room, it was packed. And the Steiners were there, and I've told the story a couple times, and this is just true. The first workout, I'm sitting in the corner, Gabe goes, who are you? I said, I'm Tom, I'm leaving Syracuse, I'm trancing. He goes, okay, you're not going to get any better sitting there. So uh, go with these two guys, they're both small little guys, uh, smaller than me. And they beat me unmercifully for like an hour. And then I went in my car and I cried for a long time. I'm like, oh my God, I can't Literally beat. cry? Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, I got beat, I got bludgeoned in front of Gabe, in front of Zaleski. And then it's a crossroad moment, you know, do you go back home? Syracuse wanted me back. I thought I was the man. I clearly wasn't the man. I wasn't even close to the man. I couldn't be two guys smaller than me. Um, and then you stay, and as time goes on, you, you, you sniff a takedown, you know, and you think to yourself, I can just get stronger. I can beat them. I can just get in better shape. My single finish gets better. And before you know it, you start winning, getting some points. And then the next thing you know, you're on the, in the starting team, and you're helping the team win the Nationals, and one day at a time. Just put one foot in front of the other.